Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to teach you the verb can, may, and be able to in Turkish language. I have lots of examples in this video, so please uh, take notes, prepare your paper and pen, uh, because you're going to uh, have a homework at the end of this video. And also, we have the question form of that which is really, really, really helpful in daily conversations. Okay, as I said, we have can, may, and being able to. Actually, they are all one word, uh, which are going to be um, in different uh, situations, having the meaning of can, may, and being able to. As you will see in the uh, examples. Okay, let's go through the lesson. In the positive form of, uh, let's say, using can, we have the root of the verb and we have a e or a according to the harmony of uh, Turkish um, language. You know, the thick sound, the thick vowels, and the thin vowels. And we have the verb no. I have taught the verb no in a previous video, in the previous lesson. So if you haven't checked that, please go and check that. Because before knowing that, uh, understanding this video may not be that easy. And the negative form, we have the root. We have a or a based on the harmony of vowels, and we have the negative suffix. I'm not going to teach you the negative form of can and may not and uh, not being able to. This is going to be the subject of another video because it's going to be very long. So here we have root and a bilir and Abilir. We have the verb uh, bil here, the verb no, and um, we have this form of bil here, like genish zaman form of bil, and we will going to uh, we will be um, conjua con and we will have uh, conjugation suffixes. For abilir and abilir, and you will see as we will go through the examples. Okay, yapabilirim. This is the first verb I have here for you. We have yap as the root because we have a sound here, we have abilir here and we have the suffix of i um i mean it means i we have im here it means i as you will see in the translation it means i can do so i have uh, put them in different colors uh, like yap means do abilir means can or may or I'm able to, okay? In all examples, I have translated to can, but um, consider in mind that uh, this is going to be may and able to anytime you mean it with a kind of attitude, okay? That gives the meaning to that. Okay, yapabilirim means I can do. Alabilirim means I can take or I can buy. Bakabilirim means I can look. Satabilirim means I can sell. Oturabilirim means I can sit. Okay. Here I have given the example of I. And I haven't conjugated in the examples. The whole video will go through I because that is the most uh, common uh, 
kind of subject that you are going to use in your daily life but at the end of the video i have all the suffixes which you are you can uh, change uh, this black color suffix and use any suffix that you want for any subject that is suitable for the situation that you're making the sense okay here we have the question form of that yapabilir miyim can i do alabilir miyim can I take? Can I buy? Bakabilir miyim? Means can I look? Can I take a look? Satabilir miyim? Means can I sell? Oturabilir miyim? Means can I sit? I read it once more. Yapabilir miyim? Alabilir miyim? Bakabilir miyim? Satabilir miyim? Oturabilir miyim? Okay? more question oturabilir miyim this is the way you can use it okay koşabilirim means i can run bulabilirim means i can find dokunabilirim means i can touch çalışabilirim means i can work Bırakabilirim means I can leave or I can give up. Okay, let's go to the question form. I hope you're taking notes. Koşabilir miyim means can I run or may I run? Bulabilir miyim like can I find? Dokunabilir miyim? Can I touch or may I touch? Çalışabilir miyim? Means can I work? Bırakabilir miyim? Means can I leave or can I take? And if there is an object for any of these verbs, that will come before the verb. Okay, you know, in Turkish, the verb usually comes at the end of the sentence. Arayabilirim. Okay. Here we have um, some examples of verbs which end to a vowel sound. And uh, because we have two vowels joining together uh, and that will not be easy to pronounce, we put a Y between these two vowels to make it more easier to pronounce. So here we have arayabilirim means I can call or I can search. Ağlayabilirim means I can cry or I may cry or I might cry. Oynayabilirim means I can play or I can dance. Okuyabilirim means I can read. Onaylayabilirim means I can confirm. Sağlayabilirim means I can provide. I'm going to read it once more. Arayabilirim, ağlayabilirim, oynayabilirim, okuyabilirim, onaylayabilirim. Sağlayabilirim. The question form. Arayabilir miyim? Can I call? Ağlayabilir miyim? Can I cry? Oynayabilir miyim? Can I play? Okuyabilir miyim? Can I read or may I read? Onaylayabilir miyim? Means can I confirm? Sağlayabilir miyim? Means can I provide? Okay, I read it once more. Arayabilir miyim? 
Ağlayabilir miyim? Oynayabilir miyim? Okuyabilir miyim? Onaylayabilir miyim? Sağlayabilir miyim? Other examples. Edebilirim. Okay, here we have the thin vowels. We have the verb et here. It ends with t. But when it comes to a suffix, it's changed to d. So we have the verb et in the form of edebilirim. It means I can do. Gidebilirim. That is the verb git. Again, it has changed to d when it comes to suffix. Gidebilirim means can I go? Gelebilirim means, oh, sorry, I can come, I can go. Okay. İçebilirim means I can drink or I may drink. Görebilirim means I can see or I may see. Verebilirim means I can give or I may give. I read it once more. Edebilirim, gidebilirim, gelebilirim, içebilirim, görebilirim, verebilirim. Edebilir miyim? Can I do? Gidebilir miyim? Can I go? Gelebilir miyim? Can I come? İçebilir miyim? Can I drink or may I drink? Görebilir miyim? Can I see or may I see? Verebilir miyim? Means can I give or may I give? Okay. İnebilirim. Means I can get off. For example, get off the taxi, get off the car. Düşebilirim. Means I can fall down or I may fall down. Getirebilirim. Means I can bring or I may bring. Götürebilirim. Means I can take or I may take. Bitirebilirim. Means I can finish or I may finish. Görüşebilirim. Means I can meet or I can talk to someone. The question form we have inebilir miyim? Means can I get off? Düşebilir miyim? Like can I fall down <laughs> or nobody asks can I fall down? But this may um, mean like um, is it possible for me to fall? I mean, is falling possible? Getirebilir miyim? Means can I bring? Götürebilir miyim? Can I take? Bitirebilir miyim? Means can I finish or may I finish or is finishing possible for me? Görüşebilir miyim? Means can I visit or meet or talk on the phone? That is also called görüşmek. Okay, here we have the verbs which end uh, with an um, with a vowel, and we have this y sound again between two vowels. To make it easier to pronounce. Söyleyebilirim means I can say or I may say. Dinleyebilirim means I can listen or I may listen to something. Temizleyebilirim means I can clean. Yürüyebilirim means I can walk. Yiyebilirim means I can eat. Giyebilirim means I can wear or I may wear. Yeah, as I said uh, in 
any part you can change can to may and just uh with changing some um the tone of your voice and giving some attitude the meaning uh, may change or can change or is able to change Okay. Söyleyebilir miyim? Can I say? Question form. Dinleyebilir miyim? Can I listen or may I listen? Temizleyebilir miyim? Means can I clean? Yürüyebilir miyim? Means can I walk? Yiyebilir miyim? Means can I eat? Giyebilir miyim? Means can I wear? Okay. Okay, here I have um, the suffixes. This is for normal sentences. You can use for any subject that you want. And um, instead of im, which I have given in all the examples, you may put any of these suffixes, and this is nothing. Um, and that will change for the related subject. And for asking questions, you can change again the same suffixes as you see here. We have the same suffix. But with the question, I have just written the form of the uh, question in the conjugation form. So we have miyim, misin, mi, miyiz, misiniz, larmi as question form. And you can practice all the question forms of the uh, examples that I've given you with the related subject. And that will help you a lot. Okay. Some examples, some general examples. Yardım. Edebilir misiniz? Yardım edebilir misiniz? Means, can you help? And this is in plural form. Or maybe in a polite form that uh, you use the plural form to address uh, the person you're talking to. Okay. Bir şey sorabilir miyim? Bir şey sorabilir miyiz? Means, can we ask something? Getirebilirler mi? Means, can they bring? Olabilir de, olmayabilir de. It means, it may be or it may not. It means, it might be possible or it might not be possible. Olabilir de, olmayabilir de. Bunu yapabilmek kolay değil. Yapabilmek. You see, I have brought the um, infinitive form of bil here. We have geniş zaman form of bilir here. But here I have put the infinitive form of the verb no. So you can uh, just figure out how this uh, bill, the verb no, can be um, used in different uh, ways. It is not only abilir ebilir, it is abilmek ebilmek as well. Okay, bunu yapabilmek kolay değil means being able to do this is not easy. Yapabilmek, being able to do something. So, being able to do this is not easy. Yapabilecek misin? Here. Again, I have this bill verb in the future form of conjugation. Here we have um, 
yapabilecek misin? Means, will you be able to do this? Or can you do this? But here we have the question form, so I brought will in the translation. Will you be able to do this? Okay. Guys, I hope this video has been helpful for you. Uh, please do this self-homework for yourself and change the suffixes in, in the uh, sentence form, normal form, and question form. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Also, you can consult about many things in Turkey. You can consult um, how to register on a university. You can consult me. You can also consult about buying houses um, and investing on uh, real estate. I work here and I can uh, help you in this regard as well. I hope you enjoyed this video, good luck and have a nice time.